Hello folks, Jerry and welcome back to Racing Dallas. Today we are going to be taking a look at another car that was donated to me recently. So this is the third version of the Lamborghini Gallardo, the second gen I believe, uh, because the first one is also in the game is the Super Leggera. However, this one uh, just seems to be the 570 instead of the 560, which I also have. We can take a look at that. There we go. Here is the normal uh, LP560, uh, which is available from the bronze crates. And as you guys can see, it's S class. I believe it's 1670 maxed. However, this one is maxed without any uh, conversions and without NOS. So that is the normal uh, second gen Gallardo. However, here we have the third one, and uh, this is R class, as you guys can see. And this was donated to me by XXX turf XXX. And uh, between each uh, letter in his name, there is a space. So there is that. So huge shout out to him. Uh, it's really getting insane the amount of uh, awesome cards I'm getting donated Because uh, let's face it, I, I'm not that good at the game So I kind of think that I should probably stop accepting turf donations uh, Until I get, you know, good at the game I mean, I am, well, let's face it, I am average on my phone on Bluestacks However, I, I'm i not So um, we might have to do something about that. I I will be getting some new parts for my uh, PC actually, which might uh, make uh, Blue Stacks a bit better to actually play on. So uh, we're gonna see how that turns out. But anyway, thank you to XXX to XXX for uh, the awesome donation. And actually, let's go over the uh, setup of this car. So this car is maxed with no NOS. Uh, I guess I can might as well uh, point out that the world record for this car is currently. Uh, 6.893 which is uh, actually uh, a bit far uh, it's a bit of the RVBs from the same class so uh, yeah not the fastest in its class this car but then again you know this is more of a collector's car anyway so there you go at the beginning I think I just showed the same part three times sorry about that but uh, the thing is at the beginning uh, I had real trouble actually separating this car from its uh, non-turf, you know, uh, counterpart, I guess, and uh, well, this, uh, the easiest difference to actually, uh, you know, spot between the two cards is the fact that, you know, one is uh, R-Class and one is S-Class, so there's that, um, also I believe there is, uh, you know, some visual differences between the two cards, obviously, for example, this one actually does have a spoiler on the back, I can show that, there you go, so that's, uh, that's the spoiler, all carbon and stuff, which is awesome. There's that. Uh, this car comes with no conversions, same as the uh, normal 560, and this is the 570, obviously. So, there you go. Uh, anything else? Oh, yeah, they're actually uh, super similar to Drive. So, there's that. Uh, okay. So, yeah, this is uh, definitely, you know, the faster of the two, obviously, and uh, actually. One thing that I figured out is that both of the cars had uh, four-wheel drive, so that means that you cannot get traction losses with uh, these cars, which is, you know, obviously really good for me. So, the thing is, I kind of did uh, around 10 practice runs with the 570, and it was uh, kind of difficult to drive, mainly because drop launch, uh, same as on most Lambos, is in fact before the first slide comes on, and I had real trouble, uh, you know, getting that perfect launch on blue stacks. However, in my uh, on my phone, it actually got a bit better. So we can might as well take a look at that later and see what uh, what times I can reach on that. But anyway, let's uh, let's have a look here. Okay. So the shifting for this guy is actually kind of weird because uh, I did. Uh, there you go. That was actually a pretty decent run. I'll take that. Uh, but uh, the shifting for this car is uh, weird because I did some uh, good shifts and I did some uh, perfect shifts and it really made no difference at all in the in the times I got. And so the best time I got on my phone while practicing was 7.095. And you know, this is obviously without NOS, so uh, it's a pretty respectable time. I'm not sure if there's any actual maxed cars. At 1677, there might be the XB Dragster, the Scion, but I'm not really sure about that. Anyway, let's, uh, let's take a look here. Have another one. Yeah, we missed it. That. So the first gear, I am assuming uh, you have to shift late, and after that, 
you are uh, good to go if you shift at around 8k so kind of similar to the McLaren MP4 in that respect there you go we missed the perfect launch there but you know obviously if someone knows a better way to ship the car you know please please let me know so there is that I mean we can take a look at the car in the lobby so uh, you know uh, XXX the XXX uh, also did you know paint the car orange because you know I told him that that was my favorite car so uh, there you go, it really does look nice, um, and you know, you can definitely uh, tell the difference between uh, the normal uh, car and the turf car uh, on the icon in the lobby, so there is that. Let's see, are there any normal Lambos? No, there is no, well, Lambos at all in the lobbies, in fact, except for uh, the one uh, we are in, so uh, there you go. I don't think I have uh, any on my Jerry Digit account, otherwise I could probably join. Uh, but uh, and you know show you guys the difference but uh, um, the other account is currently only on the laggy tablet I have so I messed up that completely yeah tried to wait a bit but uh, it's kind of difficult because if you're not paying attention on this car yeah that was a pretty bad run I would say especially with that reaction time but if you're not paying attention while you are launching this car it is super super easy to mess up the run as you guys were able to see I just held it for a little bit too long and uh, yeah, the run was unrepairable, if that's how you say it, I don't know. But today is the BMW. Actually, kind of wanted to review this car as well. Uh, the BMW, one day. Have two of these, and both are maxed, so that really shouldn't be a problem. But I kind of want to uh, actually get more videos um, from the 1650 uh, Leopard, something like that. Uh, fuck, I forgot the name of my own series. And there you go, I got carried away again. And messed up that run. So the first one we had was actually pretty good in that respect. Hmm. Okay. I think. Uh, how many more runs do we have actually before I have to repair it? Let's see. Uh, we have two runs more. Okay, we can do that. And then I'm gonna, you know, repair the car and have some runs on my phone as well. See if, you know, we can get uh, a decent run going. It's, yeah, it's gonna be not of the greatest quality, obviously. Uh, same as in the CTS video, but uh, oh well. There you go. So this is shifting at around 8.2k. Mm, I don't think it's gonna be nearly as good as the first one that we, ha uh, that we had. Uh, actually, yeah, it's gonna be pretty close. Uh, so that's a, that's a decent run. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, we could compare the car better if it had NOS on it, but. Uh, you know, that would drop the value of the car down, and I don't want that, so uh, that's why we are not gonna, you know, put NOS on the car, obviously. So, last run, let's see if we can get a 7.0. Uh, who knows, maybe. So, that launch seemed super fast, obviously, but uh, we're gonna have to see this. Now, because of the reaction time, this is not gonna be a 7.0, I would say. So close, so close. But uh, with a perfect reaction time, that would actually be my PB with this car. So uh, there you go. All right, let's hop on the phone and see what we can do. We're gonna go into a lobby. Hope that we can get into a bot one. And uh, well, that's that's good enough. So let's see. You know, have a race now, obviously. It's a race, all right. Okay, that was kind of terrible. Shift. There you go. Yeah, I definitely messed up the first gear. Uh, we did hit that travel there, as you guys were able to hear. So 7.2, not uh, not the greatest of rounds, but at least we did get that perfect launch. Even though, you know, it's kind of terrible if I can get uh, a better time on blue stacks than on the phone. Especially after I said I'm kind of average on the phone, so uh, yeah. Shipping at 8k here, or just over that, and uh, hmm, Did, I think we might have messed up a gear there. I mean, reaction time was on point, but uh, shifting doesn't seem so. And uh, we still have a couple of runs left here. If not, I guess I'm gonna might as well show the screenshot. Uh, 
that I have somewhere on the phone, obviously. So, uh, let's race. Shit, got a fucking notification from Instagram. Might have uh, messed me up there. So, uh, well, no, I would probably still follow even, even if I didn't get that notification. Uh, which, well, it happens, obviously. So, there you go. Let's have another one. Shit. And that was not good at all, the reaction time. Otherwise, this could be a half decent run. Yeah, it could be a, it could be a good run if I didn't. Uh, well, if I got a better reaction time anyway, but you know it happens. Actually, happened a couple of times in this fucking clip at least. So, uh, oops. Okay, there must be a better way to actually uh, record the screen on the phone. So we did miss the perfect launch there, and that uh, might have fucked up the run completely. And the action, uh, the reaction time was kind of bad, regardless. So uh, shit. Wait, we got one perfect launch so far. Well, uh, one perfect launch, I guess I can say, with a perfect RT. Well, that's too, but we fucked up the launch anyway. So we would have gotten direction loss if it wasn't for the fact that, you know, this kind of a sport we will drive, so I guess that's kind of useful. Uh, some point to. <sighs> God. Yeah, this didn't go as well as I hoped. I mean, we got a couple of perfect launches. That's all yet though. It's nice. Let's hope for this to be a 7.0 at least. There you go. That's uh, that, I think that's actually my PB, 7.093. So we're gonna screenshot that and uh, see what else I have uh, screenshot previously. So, uh, here you go. Alright, so the screenshots on the phone look terrible. Honestly, you couldn't really tell the time. So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and insert this clip here. So this is the time that I got on my final run, it's a 7.093, but, uh, you know, this car can definitely go faster, I would say, uh, you know, looking at uh, other pictures that I have, so, uh, here's, uh, yeah, here's the run, so basically, you know, you guys can clearly see that you can, in fact, go faster, but, you know, uh, with the limited amount of runs that I had, I couldn't really, uh, honestly, uh, hit, uh, well, I repeat this run, so that's unfortunate. Next up, we have, uh, well, I run with a shitty reaction time, and then we uh, have our previous uh, PB, so uh, that's all really it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, obviously. My name is Jerry, and I'll see you in uh, the next video. Bye!